Alexander Stromels, uh, expert of the World uh, Economic Forum uh, in Davos, uh, founder of Circle of Sustainable Europe from Brussels, uh, Belgium. Uh, you have been actively involved in fostering sustainability as well as uh, in your community. Uh, today, in our discussion, let us talk uh, in particular on SDGs uh, uh, 11, Sustainable Cities and uh, Communities. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for joining and for agreeing to discuss uh, uh, these uh, issues uh, and the particular prospects. Thank you. <coughs> Uh, I'm really happy to uh, join today. It's really uh, strange that we are uh, working and living in this kind of strange mentality, not so much realistic or physical social engagement, and uh, in the same time more having fun by doing uh, as much as possible without people asking questions. So I'm really happy to uh, be invited to uh, um, tell you uh, short, beside of my own experience, also uh, the questions that you are really uh, have and think uh, between now and coming years. From my perspective, uh, <laughs> I also do not know what we will do together in this moment by COVID-19. But I, what I seriously know is if we are uh, working together, still have uh, trust and respect for each other and also be, uh, believe believe in that the uh, there will be al always a new day some people know if they have a bad day they will start a next day uh, all over again so uh, from my perspective uh, from a personal uh, experience uh, beside of that I'm raised and born in a much cultural way uh, I've learned a lot uh, from uh, a lot of people. So if you want to start with something, also do it. Uh, do not think that if you are getting famous, you straight away get it, everything straight away. So sometimes it's only going behind your question or your dream. So uh, what I did with Circle of Stamina Europe was following my dream from three years ago. I had a project then, and the project was not accepted by my own country. So what I did, I uh, had <coughs> uh, uh, proposed for organization internationally. And by that point, it got, it got famous outside my own country. And then I came back to my own country. So sometimes if you find it really difficult by starting in your own environment with family and friends that uh, do not understand your idea and want to help, but uh, have difficulties, always uh, try to uh, 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 go out your own bubble, try to find uh, all these island structures, the gaps, that you, the gaps, like I always say, that, that these are situations and things that you can find around you, hear, see uh, and experience that people say, that people write, that people try to do but never accomplish or never develop it further. So instead of uh, only asking and uh, require what they can do for you, you can try first what you can do for yourself and what you can do together with others. So if you develop your own team, like a good formula, I have my own uh, three musketeers uh, method team with uh, three people. Uh, if you have this kind of engagement that you can connect together with uh, instead of focusing on the things that you cannot do uh, 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 good at the moment, try to connect it with people that can uh, help you with the uh, parts that you uh, have need more experience with because you can automatically learn in the same time when you use um, what I'm already trying to do as a uh, World Economic Forum expert is uh, engaging a lot of communities. I uh, got, got, got in this year a lot of invitations uh, to go to summits about water, about rate reset, about sustainability. Uh, there are so much going on, but everything digital. So uh, it's not something what I've dreamed about uh, before I became, but uh, it's it's still it's it's going uh, in a way that we can because everybody has problems with it and we all respect that we need to wait and survive um, till uh, this whole situation will be go over <laughs> at the same time the clock uh, is coming 
Uh, so it's a very important reminder for all of us uh, that regardless of uh, circumstances, regardless of uh, the lockdown, we should contribute. And it's important that you have mentioned uh, that only together we can resolve uh, global uh, problems through global projects, uh, because some countries uh, do better in some fields than others and vice versa, and only through reshaping this uh, paradigm of exchanging experience, uh, of use-to-use uh, -use communication on all levels of decision-making, we can reach a more sustainable and uh, a happy world uh, also. As Einstein once wrote, uh, uh, we cannot resolve problem if it's uh, on the list uh, here. We can only resolve problem if we look from different uh, perspective. So you have really great experience as a change maker, but the loneliness road always starts with the first steps. Do you remember probably the focal point when you first started taking actions for promoting sustainability? What has impacted you and what did you think that moment? Probably some life situation, some background. Well, I started with sustainability around uh, uh, eight years ago. Um, but the biggest reason why I've engaged how important it was, because before I uh, went to applied science and other university courses, I had engaged a lot of events organized by university students who were really engaged with uh, uh, millennials uh, perspective what we are all like millennials need to do uh, a lot of sustainability organization organize a lot but what I saw there were only a lot university students but the younger generation and the uh, 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 young children who just start b with the basics never heard about sustainability so i was asking questions around me why are why are only the university students speak about sustainability because they said then it's a really difficult topic you cannot speak with everyone well i found it really strange and then i found it out that uh, if you uh, if you engage with uh, difficult of degrees of indeed the conversation is really difficult but if you uh, know the quote of Einstein if you cannot explain uh, from a professor to a young child your idea is not very good so you cannot explain it to everyone so it's really important that if you have something and you find it really important also try with uh, older generation, not only with your own age, because it's good that everybody's speaking, but if you are a student, you are not uh, always a student, you get a job, you get responsibility, so you want to try a lot when you are still a student, and then you get a uh, job, you get a, a family experience, uh, 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 hobbies and other topics, so you have less time to do a lot of things, so it's good to also prepare uh, when you uh, will go away that you can find a replacement and can find people like um, what social influencers are doing. So instead of uh, speaking about uh, topics that everybody do not care and find it just funny to look of people who can be the social influencers in the topic and uh, give order the chance to think and do their own way at home instead of you need a function you need to have this kind of experience so uh, you lose a lot of people by that point and at the same time uh, if you do that too much people will be not following you anymore because you can have uh, you can have um, i understand like a board commissaires, working groups, you cannot have too much people in it. But if you have in around uh, for five years, really active people who never get a chance, they will be a go away in some years of time. So it's really important to not lose your own network and your own uh, 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 external people. You can even uh, ask them to be your ambassador, your quartermasters, uh, your uh, external advisors, so you can develop a group with people who want to rethink and write a proposal down and they are still informal, Try, they give them also informal a chance. So if they can develop something, you they can present it formally and you have already new members then. So uh, 
this is a, a, a little bit longer, but uh, it's all the feelings and experience that I got in the time because it went really fast when I started because there were no concurrence. A lot of people said, that's a good question. Maybe we need to develop it. And instead of uh, getting results, uh, I got the responsibility that I tried to do with a lot of people because I saw I cannot do it alone. And it's really uh, um, uh, important that all the organizations who are already doing it also connect with each other. But the problem is, uh, it's it's like the last SDG. Uh, not everyone wants to have a partnership with each other. And that is the biggest difficulty in, at the moment still. Uh, thank you so much for your insights. Uh, it's really important uh, emphasizing on the teamwork because no global change can be made alone. And it's really important that the organizations involved uh, in different uh, SDGs uh, work together uh, to foster our common happy future and uh, prosperity and sustainability. So uh, our organization would be also happy to cooperate uh, in future and work on uh, common projects, uh, mm, but let us also determine sustainability, because it's very comprehensive term. Evidently, it means minimizing footprint, uh, uh, reaching zero CO2 emissions, uh, stopping climate change, and so on. But it also means human rights. It also means uh, inclusion. It also means that, all, uh, that overall paradigm in which we live uh, uh, changes uh, for more human-oriented, more human-centered uh, one. Uh, how could we distinguish uh, whether the city is sustainable or not, and what sustainability means for you? Yes, well, uh, uh, to uh, from my experience, I got a lot of uh, 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 stories, examples, uh, hackathons, events, and even a chance by my own ministry to join a really nice uh, 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 research from three three days in a place in the Netherlands. It was really amazing because uh, I got a chance to uh, engage with students in a place where they had problems uh, to, uh, to uh, beside of speaking with the mayor, going speak with the citizens, going around the whole uh, uh, city. It was really amazed uh, to engage and speak in, and uh, to have already results in, in three days. We had a vision and an idea by simply collecting policy and collecting all what the city did and propose it in that kind of way that it can could be make straight away a result straight away a practice and activation with uh, with the citizens and also cost less money because they had already a lot of projects with budget so it's good important to sometimes also overlook all these projects from from a from the municipality and maybe advise that they can they can work together because they sometimes think uh, 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 with uh, they have a, a topic but think in the same way. So if you find this kind of situations and the mayor say, yeah, this, this is what I like. You already know what the mayor like and you can just speak with coordinators, say happy because you give them free advice. They can change it as soon as possible. And you as a student has uh, in around three days develop really big uh, changes what the municipality could not have because uh, like you said, it's all about uh, uh, viewing in different kind of ways. And uh, in the Dutch uh, way, we, we use the mentality of uh, putting all the glasses on. Sometimes you can also experience a topic if you rethink, okay, I'm now a young person, I'm now an old person, I'm now a mayor, I'm now uh, a, mu a musician. How I will think about this situation is really interesting because you experience yourself thinking like an older person in a moment that you never done that before. Um, what I uh, surely can uh, say is uh, uh, that uh, it's really a big uh, interesting topic to uh, make sustainable, sustainable cities, uh, having uh, environment security, environment visions. It's uh, going a lot uh, around the Netherlands and also other places in Europe. But uh, it's uh, th the most important thing is, like always, if you want to do something for the citizens, engage also the citizens in the topic. And I was really happy when uh, I was helping uh, the platform Strategic Itali uh, Italians 
they have they had in around uh, two years uh, one year ago and two years ago some uh, uh, summits digital summits going on and they were speaking about how important uh, sustainable cities uh, about mobility and how important it is that the cities need to be engaged and they also spoke about university students and my question that i had what about the younger generation who's sitting at school and they found it really interesting so sometimes uh, it's not their own fault that they forgetting it. It's simply not never been discussed before or rethought before. And that is good to discuss it with people who've already experienced how the government uh, sometimes work, how the municipalities sometimes work, and even how the universities and entrepreneurs sometimes work. Because if you see how much of good organizations are around you and uh, the universities want to engage uh, some um, uh, ideas and changes from the uh, organizations, you simply can ask your own school or university like I want to organize for the students uh, a, a, a business open day and I will be inviting organization for that point. If the university or school will say, oh, that's a nice idea, we really like that. You have done so, something really big and you have straight away automatically engage yourself with a, a lot more students that you've have spoke before and also with a lot of organization instead of soliciting and uh, informing what you did like a document or like in, in education you invited them to engage with each other and it's more funny if you invite sometimes organizations who are all concurrents of each other because they will never uh, normally work with each other or do something to with each other but you did it and you can say to them uh, like uh, look i'm external you are now together you've engaged this so it it is something uh, what happened never ha never happened before, and that's really funny because you you do something that other thing. Oh my God, she he, he, or she or he did that indeed. What we never so um, to do that, it's not uh, uh, looking at people around you only. It's also simply engage yourself by the uh, overview and by the events and uh, asking questions and to try it out. And besides of, uh, to try it out in your own, like I, I, am, I, I will do it because I have the idea. I indeed understand because it's really difficult sometimes to get trust and respect and people who uh, copy paste your idea. But if you are good enough, uh, like I do, if I'm going really original and I try to do it already in practice instead of documents. So also advice, uh, sometimes it's also good to try it in practice Besides of going to the notary and uh, getting your ideas uh, formal, uh, formal right on it, it is people will know about your idea. You can also prove, look, this is my event that I did about these topics. And this is was like a test for my results and the propositions and uh, further to point. Uh, we live in a really fast world in, in this current time. It's not anymore 10 or 20 or 50 years working at the same place. So uh, a lot of changes, climate uh, climate action and a lot of other topics made it, make it also difficult. Uh, robots who getting uh, in the future a lot of functions of ours so we need already to rethink what kind of functions and jobs and uh, things we as human being can do together with current times so instead of looking at problems uh, pointing it out and saying yeah me too me too me too or like uh, uh, everything given to Greta Thunberg uh, she's also only one person and she indeed needs also other people who stand up and do uh, the same mentality things, not in the same way. But if you um, if you if you tr simply tried like a little dot and started to develop it like I did many years ago, I did famous straight away. I traveled a lot. I went. I uh, did things in one municipality, then in more, then in provinces that had European base, then already international. Uh, and now it's going really fast. Not because I'm screaming and I'm saying that I'm famous or that I'm doing really important things in my own. No, I sharing my knowledge. I getting a lot of people asking me questions. Who getting closed doors or not having the network or not the knowledge to start. I give them the chance that they can do it by themselves. 
uh, in a star topic. So instead of uh, here's here's the uh, here's the answer, here's the organization, here's some budget, good luck with it. No, I uh, try to um, uh, experience, learn from the person what is his dream, what he wants, and then I give him him his own key from his own door that he can open it, get his own enthusiasm, and then a growth mindset automatically in return. Because if you are depending yourself on others. You will be sitting like a chicken on the same place. So it's like uh, uh, sometimes you need uh, to experience yourself with uh, 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 um, quotes from the Netherlands. Put yourselves in a, in a cage with a lion. That is my idea. I try each day to do some things that I not like, that I not really prepare for it. But it's a good training for yourself because if you do that each day... It will be basic. It will be normal. And about the city, how sustainable, it's like a person. Each person is an other way uh, doing something with sustainability. So uh, we're working with a lot of greats. We're working with uh, uh, competitions, uh, the green capital, uh, the uh, other uh, ideas that people can get our award. But each city has the responsibility for their own citizens. Thank you for your comprehensive answer. In fact, uh, only cooperation can provide sustainability because uh, um, even now from the viewpoint of the definition for smart cities, I'm researching it, uh, we have numerous stakeholders, but there is also a question who will take the leadership or whether the leadership will be simultaneous. And if we even look at the examples of uh, successful smart cities, uh, uh, even in Britain within one country or uh, the top 10 world smart cities, uh, uh, we will notice different approaches. Uh, uh, in some countries, government uh, takes the lead in other countries, private stakeholders or NGOs. Uh, so there is no unique model of sustainability. And uh, in each case, uh, we shall co focus on particular uh, solutions, as you mentioned, uh, and uh, getting out uh, of the comfort zone and uh, uh, try uh, to find uh, uh, possibilities of cooperating with people. How do you think whether Brussels uh, uh, is fully sustainability? What are the criteria of sustainability in this uh, uh, connection? Well, uh, what I can say about Brussels, uh, 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 they are not uh, uh, the best in it uh, straight away. They're trying a lot, engaging a lot. Uh, of course, uh, some places in Brussels are really good developed. The new rules about uh, uh, how cars need to be, how much... Uh, uh, how much cars can travel there and uh, the secure way to uh, travel more and better with more sustainable cars in the future. So uh, I like the mentality of trying. I like uh, the mentality of uh, have this all, uh, all these mutual culture discussions and lobbyists who are coming together and speaking with a lot of these topics would be really happy if Brussels would be one of the best in all the examples to be the sustainable city of uh, 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 for others, like example. But uh, like you uh, engage with the green capital idea and uh, uh, the others, I like that the, the this competition of the European Commission and uh, uh, where a lot of citizens are involved are getting chances by in, from Brussels. So I like that instead of that Brussels only thinking about themselves, uh, they're also thinking about which kind of ways all the cities can be going sustainable. So I like this uh, better than showing your own city and showing your own citizens say, look how good we are. Uh, do uh, be like us, and you get a chance. You will be the same. No, I like uh, so it's a good um, uh, idea also for all the cities. Instead of uh, doing everything around them to try to show uh, to other cities, look, this is what we do. We are the best. Is try to uh, develop activities, projects, in turn. International exchanges, these kind of things. So you can be one of the cities who are open to engage and also uh, give others the chance 
to learn from your own perspective, but in the same time that you can also learn from other perspectives instead of what is around me, what what is the municipality saying to me, what is the uh, what is my university or the organization saying around me? Oh, uh, to say it really fair, organizations, government, and municipalities have an international network. So before and besides of trusting only their network also try uh, develop your own network because you will i sh- i i seriously believe you can get a lot of chances but it's like it's you get chances and people will connect you when you are already getting famous when you're doing a lot of great things but if you're starting you need a network around you who can help you daily weekly and if you engage yourself with municipality, provinces or government, you sometimes need to wait for some weeks or one month or even a lot longer time if you go to the, to the European Commission to get an answer back. So try to engage yourself to uh, tr- uh, to engage each day and not waiting too much, because if you're waiting too much, you get stress, you need to prepare yourself and uh, it's better to engage yourself each day about your interesting topics. Uh, like I said, Brussels is not the best, but they are trying to engage and give other cities the chance to develop them, uh, not only by themselves, but also by an European view. What is the potential of uh, electric cars uh, market in Belgium? Because this segment uh, uh, is rapidly, rapidly, quite rapidly evolving in comparison to the numbers of electric vehicles all over Europe, uh, which we had, for instance, three or five years ago. It is increasing, but we uh, still have problems with infrastructure, with the price, uh, which Mm -hmm. is a bit more uh, than the price of traditional cars. Uh, how do you estimate the further potential, uh, whether it's a common practice uh, uh, or whether it still has to be the common practice? Well, what I see of the potentials of electric cars, uh, you saw how much of uh, what Elon Musk already did uh, in his uh, in America, in China, and also already in Europe. Uh, he, uh, uh, Teslas are, uh, how can I say it fair, not the only sustainable cars. But thanks to that, uh, in Europe, you you maybe have heard and saw the rules that a lot of uh, uh, car uh, um, organizations who are developing cars have uh, have not the solutions to develop so much of electric cars in the same way. Uh, it's good that they already have uh, give the chance and cooperate with Tesla, so they can uh, share more Teslas around them. But in the same time, uh, it needs to be more cheap for people uh, to buy it more. And besides, of course, who are wo- uh, tra- uh, who are working on electri- uh, electrics, they have also some other uh, ideas. So it's needs it's needs uh, st- still to develop it more. And uh, there are a lot of discussions going on about that a normal car is more sustainable than an electrical car. Uh, it's it's good, important to reject that and uh, also giving older people the chance and not uh, uh, and not in a, not uh, automatically that everybody will get a Tesla, but maybe like uh, in the current old time that people can travel with bus, cars and this kind of way. So instead of the people who have their own car, they will be having a, a, a car to share. So like... Uh, each city have so uh, if if citizens can respect and uh, know how much they use the uh, the cars they can simply uh, hire or loan a car. Uh, it's better if it's freely because people will be automatically sell their cars and straight away going to the use of this mobility uh, engagement. But uh, and then uh, it's automatically that the car sell system will be only selling their cars to the government or uh, some other uh, or big organizations that need uh, needs cars. But it's uh, it's a little bit to change the mindset. So uh, sustainability, sustainability uh, uh, cars we have, but not enough for everyone. Uh, so in the current moment, it's better to rethink 
and uh, engage yourself with others uh, to maybe lo uh, loan one car for 20 or 30 people and say, okay, how much days and that you have a, a agenda together. So uh, in the same time, you have a chauffeur who will be traveling you because if you engage with yourself, okay, uh, you, uh, uh, I will travel you there and you will be traveling me there. You have already also that you can uh work in your own uh when you are traveling in your own in in the car instead of by 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 the bus by a plane by train so it's it's uh it's it's like a a starting point i do not know where it will goes but uh, go but uh, i believe and i surely see that if uh, the uh, uh um if streets, because uh, I saw uh, people living in streets and are sharing their own uh, products and things, because not everyone has that, a car is also doable. Uh, what is uh, also important here is uh, public-private partnership or how on how can government uh, initiate uh, um, so, some special pro programs that uh, uh, will support uh, people who wish uh, uh, having such uh, uh, cars. Uh, um, and uh, also you've mentioned the paradigm of uh, sharing economy, it's enormously promising and keeping in mind the success stories of uh, Airbnb, uh, Uber and uh, other companies uh, uh, who promote this uh, concept of sharing economy, there is a hope uh, that finally we can switch from the paradigm of uh, overconsumption overproduction into uh, fair consumption and uh, equal for everyone. Uh, how, in your opinion, would the sustainable cities of the future would uh, look like? Uh, what would be the key components uh, of this city? Probably artificial intelligence uh, or something else? Well, uh, I, uh, if you, if you uh, to say it really funny, uh, if you uh, watch cl classics about how the world would be around this time or in the coming 10 years, I, I still believe that it will be in, in, the, uh, uh, in the future. Uh, you are already uh, seeing how much of traveling and, and things are getting up to go to the moon and to Mars. So we cannot ignore that. Um, but uh, we, uh, we, like human beings, need to accept and respect what we have on, the, on Earth in the same time. So uh, I'm really happy that we have uh, satellite programs and things that we can easily engage and uh, uh, ex express uh, uh, what we can do uh, at the current moment. Uh, I like some buildings uh, that are really having uh, the idea uh, be, uh, by uh, be the developing buildings with a lot of um, plants and a lot of forest in it. So I believe in the, in the future uh, a lot of buildings will be in this kind of way. So it will be more nature around the city. Uh, also uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, getting less traffic problems. Quite a positive future, but only in case uh, we shall change uh, the mindset now. And what your organization uh, does uh, is absolutely changing the mindset, uh, circle of sustainable Europe. Uh, could you please tell us a bit more about your plans uh, and uh, uh, your recent probably projects uh, yes. to share with our viewers? Steve Jobs quote saying that the crazy people will be making the change at the world. So maybe we can try that also. Develop with uh, a cooperation with Sustainable Ocean Alliance from America, our uh, Ocean Benelux hub, the first hub in, in a cooperation with three hubs, because the normal hub is developed only for one country, for one engagement. And we've developed an engagement between Luxembourg, Belgium and the Netherlands to be the example and to try and to test out for any, um, uh, to work in the cur uh, current month and years also with other hubs. So we can help to develop the Sustainable Ocean Alliance mentality about uh, giving ocean methods, accelerators, hackathons, training courses more around Europe like a European entity, but it needs to be developed. It needs to be engaged with the director generals of the European Commission. It needs to be engaged with all the ministries. And in some countries, like in Germany, 
it's really difficult because they have uh, a lot of uh, different kind of education systems there. We are trying to engage, having scaling ups. We have uh, already good uh, corporations. We have a uh, co cooperation with uh, UNEP uh, MCY, the United Nations Environment uh, Pro uh, Programs Group of Youth, uh, from a major group of youth with children. Uh, therefore, I also develop a project called uh, 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 UNOSA MCY. So the UNOSA, uh, many people of you know that what it's called, but it's uh, the office where everything happening about space at United Nations degree is discussed there. And what I'm trying to do is to develop a legal uh, UN body for youth engagement towards UNOSA. So it's maybe a really nice starting point uh, that uh, a lot of youth who are dreaming about space but not never will be in space getting the chance to be youth representative uh, uh, for UNOSA to engage with United Nations what's possible at the current moment. And uh, it's, it's almost developed. The project is uh, now getting proposed and rechecked with a lot of uh, in around 50 coordinators. Uh, so it's really important uh, that it's uh, 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 it's not something only for the important people, important organizations. We are trying to engage f for everyone who wants to get in engaged. So indeed, the space agencies get engaged, all the national youth organizations get engaged. Uh, we are also want the commission, commissions and working groups engaged, but we also want to give the task and the mission for all these agencies and youth organization that they will be organizing festivals, events to engage more youth and people around them. Because beside of the youth perspective and believing that we as youth will be making the change in the coming future, also connecting the current uh, uh, specialist, professors, governmental people, UNOSA, NASA, SpaceX, ASA, ASA people. Very impressive, uh, especially the fact that you see sustainability much broader than in terms of our planet, but uh, as a space sustainability, which is really uh, important uh, um, in, uh, if we speak about the potential, it's enormous. But uh, if the potential is uh, here, we have to involve young people who will be the key stakeholders uh, of the new space era, uh, which is already come, uh, coming uh, step by step. So it's very wonderful initiative. Uh, I was really happy to hear about that. Uh, and uh, I hope that our viewers, uh, our young leaders from different corners uh, of the world uh, would have the chance somehow to contribute, to join and cooperate for a better future. Yes. Uh, you are also yes. the expert uh, of uh, um, the World Economic Forum, uh, mm -hmm. Davos, uh, the countries uh, and businesses uh, in Davos 2020 have reassured their devotion to stop climate change, uh, also speaking about the ocean problems. Uh, there was uh, after the pandemics, uh, during pandemics, uh, uh, the online event on sustainable development but how do you feel uh, whether the situation with pandemics uh, can somehow impact in negative ways uh, our aspiration uh, to move forward, uh, not on the individual level, but uh, in terms of uh, inter-country cooperation? Well, what I see is, uh, I, what I can say we really... Uh, um, just a moment, documents. Uh, really painful to say, but thanks to COVID-19, a lot of things are not happening what, what is planned. Uh, if you look at uh, agencies and organizations, everybody is doing it or digitally or uh, putting it uh, 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 for next year. So uh, postponement and uh, discussions when they can do that. A lot of space events will be only happening end of coming year or even in 2022. So uh, if you understand that and in the same way, uh, World Economic Forum is doing a lot, uh, doing not everything digital. So I'm really happy 
instead of uh, need to travel in a really strange of time that everybody can uh, work at home and doing everything digital. So um, I, I have experienced that the uh, Davos event of coming year will be also postponed. I do not know till when, but uh, it's seriously one thing that is a need to be discussed. Uh, um, but uh, uh, what I'm seeing uh, is that everybody is trying uh, to do as much as possible to uh, go further because indeed uh, the problems will be still still be lying around. Uh, yeah, you can say it's important, everybody give applause, but uh, eventually you need to do it together. So the uh, uh, the ideas of World Economic Forum by uh, giving more chances by communities and uh, I'm uh, involved with community water, so it's really nice to see what the water community is doing for uh, re with research of the best uh, universities around the world. So they get resources of Harvard University and of also from others. But uh, um, there's now also more uh, more generation involved. So not only uh, professors, uh, entrepreneurs also some students and also uh, global shapers. Uh, but I find it really nice that it's really going so good that eventually uh, when World Economic Forum is asking uh, community members how much if they want to engage more time and energy for some problems, a lot of organizations want, uh, want to do that free in their own time. So if if it's happening now that a uh, World Economic Forum or uh, a government or uh, organization uh, convince people around them to uh, to uh, develop projects further, is better than the mentality of okay, we have COVID-19, let's wait, because we cannot make a profit of it, let's wait. Well, if you wait, you will be losing uh, eventually our loves because ev everything to make the better step and success of it is in this current time. So it's not in, uh, simply to survive in the normal old way, but survive in the current and the, the future way. Because if you speak with a lot of uh, people uh, from a lot of degrees, they say the old way of living will be not coming back. So why are so much of people and organizations still believe that they can wait when COVID-19 is over? It's like uh, you will be waiting for a dream that is, is already ending up. The finish line is already ended up. You need to get a new start line. So uh, instead of waiting, 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 is surviving in combination of looking at ways that you can work uh, maybe easier, uh, work even more, but also more productive instead of losing more energy because uh, I also hate more the working with screens. I getting uh, my eyes getting crazy. But uh, uh, thanks to working at the screen, I watch less uh, TV. I uh, I use uh, less uh, tablets, and it's kind of, I just read like always old ways books. No e-reader, just books because my eyes. Uh, I'm not comfortable to see the whole day on the screens around me. So uh, maybe it's good for some people who who hate it, who hate it right, reading books to uh, to sit too much at the screen because eventually you'll be hating that. You will do. You want to do something else. <laughs> Yes, in fact, uh, um, but I hope that uh, uh, the world will return to the new normal and uh, it would be the normal of happiness uh, and sustainability instead of uh, chaos, uh, crisis. Uh, there are much more topics uh, that I wanted uh, to discuss uh, uh, with you and I hope we will get the chance uh, to continue our cooperation and mm. uh, to talk more uh, in some detailed ways uh, on oceans, uh, uh, about uh, uh, cosmic uh, uh, galaxies, uh, how to be involved uh, there, inclusivity, and so on. Uh, thank you so much for your wonderful contribution, for your inspiration. And uh, as uh, uh, the final point, uh, what would be your message to the world leaders uh, watching us now uh, who care about sustainability? What should they do to contribute? In several sentences, uh, just to highlight probably the essence uh, of our today's conversation. Yes. Thank you. 
Well, the message from my side is don't give up. And there is always a new day. So if you cannot accomplish something uh, at the current moment, you have bad situations, try it the next day. And try that much more days. Instead of waiting for that special day, for that special moment that eventually can be postponed. Develop your own chances. Develop your own uh, special moments and try to share it with others. And if you do that in a way to share it with each other, you get more chances eventually. Because you are not doing it at your own. Merci beaucoup. Je suis très heureux à avoir cette opportunité à parler avec vous et j'espère pour notre coopération à l'avenir. Merci beaucoup. Yeah.